हेलो वंस अगेन माय सेल्फ आशीष जैन इन सोशल साइंस ज्योग्राफी चैप्टर फोर एग्रीकल्चर वन एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑन विच द इंडियन एकनॉमी डिपेंड्स द साइंस एंड आर्ट ऑफ कल्टिवेटिंग प्लांट्स एंड लाइव स्टॉक इज कॉमनली नॉन एज एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर इज ऑल्सो अ प्राइमरी एक्टिविटी which produced most of the food that we consume beside the food grains it also produce raw material to various industries also agriculture it is done in the way of farming this full chapter is mentioned in your ncert book on page number 34 also okay but now we will study the small salt notes which are very and very common and important for learning so agriculture with its farm types of farming we will study the farming are of three main type primitive substantive farming substantive farming and commercial farming so first primitive substantive farming this type of farming is still practiced in few pockets of india primitive substantive farming is A agriculture which is practiced on small patches of land with the help of primitive tools like hoe, drill, digging, sticks, and it is done with family and community labor. It's done very less in India. It is a slash and burn agriculture. Farmers clear a patch of land and produce other food crops to sustain their family needs. Jhum farming is one of the big example of primitive substantive farming. Second comes intensive substantive farming. This type of farming is practiced in the area with high population pressure of land. It is labor intensive farming where high dose of biochemical inputs and irrigation are used to obtain the higher production though the right lead to the division of land among substantive generation has reended land hunting shies uneconomically the farmers continue to take maximum output from the limited land it's mostly practiced in india third type of farming come commercial farming the main feature of this type of farming is the use of higher dose of modern inputs hyv seeds are being used in this the chemical fertilizers parasites in order to obtain higher productivity the degree of commercialization of agriculture varies from region to region for example rice is a commercial crops in haryana and punjab but in odisha it is a substantive crops plantation is also a type of commercial farming it's mostly practiced in assam bengal and other region kerala In India, tea, coffee, rubber, sugar cane, banana are the important plantation crops. For this, then after we will study what are the main cropping pattern in India. The main cropping pattern, hope so you all may be knowing, there are three main cropping pattern: Rabi crop, Kharif crop, and Shahid crop. the kharif crop first of all we will study it is sown in the month of june july and harvested in the month of september or october these crops are grown with the onset of monsoon in different part of the country and these are harvested in september and october the important crops of kharifs we can say paddy jowar bajra moon cotton jute soya bean etc it's mostly done in kerala assam telangana tamil nadu maharashtra particularly in konkan with up and bihar recently paddy has become a important crop of punjab and haryana also 
then after comes the ravi crops ravi crops are sown in the winter from october to december and harvested in the month of summer from april to june it's mostly done in punjab haryana himachal pradesh jk uttarakhand up availability of precipitation during winter month due to the western temperature cyclone helped the success of these crops rajasthan has also been an important factor in the growth of ever mentioned rabi crops then after in the last comes zahid crops zahid crops is a crop which comes in between rabi and kharif crops there is a short season during which is known as the shahid season some crops are produced during this like water melon clumber vegetables folder crops sugarcane takes almost a year to grow so these are the main types of farming which we have studied today and the cropping pattern hope so you all enjoyed it like it please like and subscribe it thank you everyone hello once again myself ashish jain in agriculture class 10th chapter 4 previous period we have discussed about types of farming and cropping pattern today we will discuss what are the major crops of india it is also mentioned in the ncert book page number 36 37 and 38 okay and this is the chart also ki major crops of india now first of all we will study the major crops of india the main are the rice wheat millets maize and pulse these are the five main crops of india first rice it is the staple food and majority of indian people eats this it is the sec india is the second largest producer of rice in the world after china so second point it is a kharif crop which require high temperature above 25 degree and high humidity with annual rainfall of 100 cm rice is grown in punjab haryana western up part of rajasthan and mp then after comes the wheat number 2 the wheat it is the second important crop of india it's may it is the main crop in northern and northwest part of india it's mostly grown in punjab haryana up bihar rajasthan and mp it require the annual rainfall of 50 to 75 cm there are the two important wheat growing zones in a country ganga satluj plain in the northwest and black soil region of deccan so these are the main regions of uh, wheat production third comes the millets in millets jowar bajra and ragi are the important millets grown in india so these are also grown as coarse grains they have a very high nutrients value it is a rain field crop mostly grown most of the areas with hardly need irrigation <coughs> most major jowar producing states in india are maharashtra karnataka and pradesh and mp bajra grown on the sandy soil and slowing black region mostly it is grown in up maharashtra gujarat and haryana and karnataka tamil nadu also then after comes the fourth point comes the maize the maize it is a crop which used for both as a food and as a folder it is a kharif crop which require temperature with being 100 to 27 degree hyv seeds it helps the fertility and irrigation major maize producing states are karnataka up bihar mp and pradesh telangana also lastly comes the pulse pulse it is 
India is the largest producer as well as the consumer of pulse in the world. These are the major source of protein in a vegetarian diet. As India is one of the big vegetarian region, Masoor, Urd, Pulse, these are the some of the main pulse. They are grown mostly in MP, UP, Rajasthan, Karnataka, Maharashtra and other states also. So these were the main crops, major crops of India which we have studied, rest part we will study in the next point which are the food crops rather than the food grains. Thank you, please like and subscribe. <coughs> Hello, myself Ashish and once again in front of you in agriculture class 10th and Today we will study on food crops other than the grains which is also mentioned in your NCRT book page number 40 and 41. So please be ready. The main points of food crops other than the grains are sugarcane, oil seed, tea, coffee, horticultures. The first it is comes the sugarcane. The sugarcane is the one of the tropical as well as the subtropical crops which is grown in hot and humid temperature with 21 degrees Celsius to 27 and annual rainfall of 75 to 100 centimeter per year. Sugarcane it is mostly found in the states such as UP, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. Bihar, Punjab, Haryana and Telangana. The next comes the oil seed. Oil seed, India is the second largest producing of groundnut in the world after China. Mostly in India, oil seeds are of China. Soya bean, castor seeds, lint seeds and sunflower. The oil seed mostly are grown in Gujarat, MP, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and other states of India. Castrol seed are grown in both Rabi and Kharif crops. The next comes the tea. Tea, it's been said that in Assam and Bengal, the more than 80% of tea was being grown any time of the world. Tea cultivation in an example of plantation agriculture, it is also an important beverage crops of India. Today most of the tea plantation are in India. The tea plants grow well as well as drop and fertile well drained soil rich in humus and organic matter. It requires a number of labors also. Major tree producing states of India are Assam. West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, apart from these, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, Andhra Pradesh and Tirpura are also the tree producing states of the country. In 2008, India is the third largest producer of tea after China and Turkey. There was a time India is the first largest. Next come coffee is the another beverage crops. In 2008, India produced 3.2% of the world coffee. It is mostly produced in India in Nilgiri Hills in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Nilgiri Hills of Karnataka, it is well known for sandalwood and many other natural resources. After all this, it comes the next horticulture crops horticulture crops means growing up of vegetables and fruits 2008 india was the second largest producer of vegetables and fruit in india after china india is the producer of tropical as well as temperate fruits mangoes oranges banana lychees are some of the main fruits which are being grown in india 
मैंगोस ऑफ महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना यूपी एज वेल एज बंगाल बनानास एंड ऑरेंजेस ऑफ नागपुर एंड चेरापुंजी मेघालय बनानास ऑफ केरल महाराष्ट्र एंड तमिलनाडु ग्रेप्स ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना एंड महाराष्ट्र एप्पल्स फ्रॉम जम्मू कश्मीर एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश आर हैविंग द ग्रेट डिमांड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इंडिया प्रोड्यूस थर्टीन परसेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड वेजिटेबल्स इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोड्यूस ऑफ पी कैल्यूफ्लावर ऑनियन काबेज टोमेटो ब्रिंजल एंड पोटैटो इन फूड क्रॉप्स अदर देन द ग्रीन्स इज टूडे इज दिस मच ओनली थैंक यू होप सो यू लाइक इट प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू एवरी वंस अगेन माई सेल्फ आशीष जैन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन एग्रीकल्चर क्लास टेंथ जोग्राफी एंड टूडे वी विल स्टडी ऑन द टॉपिक नॉन फूड क्रॉप्स ऑफ इंडिया विच इज ऑल्सो मैंसन इन योर एन सी आर टी बुक इन पेज नंबर फोर्टी टू एंड फोर्टी थ्री सो द फर्स्ट नॉन फूड क्रॉप ऑफ इंडिया इज रब फैब्रिक क्रॉप्स कॉटन एंड जूट रबर विच इज बीन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इंडिया मोस्टली इन केरल तमिलनाडु एंड कर्नाटका इट इज एन इक्वरेटरल क्रॉप बट अंडर स्पेशल कंडीशन इट इज ग्रॉन इन ट्रॉपिकल एंड सब ट्रॉपिकल एरिया इट रिक्वायर मोस्ट एंड ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट विथ रेनफॉल ऑफ मोर देन टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर एंड टेम्परेचर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस रबर इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट इंडस्ट्रियल रॉ मटेरियल इट इज ऑल्सो ग्रॉन इन कोरो हिल्स ऑफ मेघालय ऑल्सो द सेकेंड नॉन फूड क्रॉप ऑफ इंडिया इज फैब्रिक क्रॉप्स द फैब्रिक क्रॉप्स आर कॉटन जूट हिम्प नेचुरल स्किल्स आर द फोर मेजर फैब्रिक क्रॉप्स ऑफ इंडिया द फर्स्ट थ्री आर डिलीवर्ड फ्रॉम द क्रॉप ग्रॉन इन द सॉयल द लेटर इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द क्रॉप क्रॉन्स ऑफ द सिल्क वॉम्स फीड इन द ग्रीन लीफ स्पेशली मिलबेरी रियरिंग ऑफ सिल्क वॉम फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सिल्क फैब्रिक इज नॉन एज सीरीकल्चर आफ्टर देन कम्स द थर्ड पॉइंट कॉटन it is believed that original home of cotton is india only cotton is one of the main raw material for cotton textile in industries it require high temperature light rainfall for irrigation no more than 210 frost free days and bright sunshine for it growth it requires major cotton producing states of india are mp karnataka andhra pradesh tamil nadu यूपी बिहार आसम उड़ीसा एंड मेघालय तेलंगाना ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट लास्ट कम द जूट जूट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज द गोल्डन फैब्रिक जूट ग्रोस वेल ऑन ड्रेंड फर्टाइल सॉल इन द फूड प्लेन्स वेयर सॉयल आर रियोनर्ड एवरी ईयर इट रिक्वायर हाई टेम्परेचर द मेन रीजन्स आर बिहार वेस्ट बंगाल आसाम उड़ीसा मेघालय वेस्ट बंगाल द पार्ट ऑफ सुंदरवन डेल्टा इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट जूट प्रोड्यूसिंग एरिया ऑफ नॉट ओनली इंडिया बट वर्ल्ड ड्यू टू इट्स हाई कॉस्ट इट इज लूजिंग मार्केट टू सिंथेटिक फैब्रिक्स एंड पैकिंग मार्केट्स पर्टिकुलर टू द nylon thank you so hope so you understand the non food crops of india thank you once again